So I've reached the thousand mile mark on my 23 CVO. And so it's time for the 1000K service. Let's take a look and see what's in a 1000K service. So from the Harley Davidson website, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find an entry for owner's manuals. This will take you to the Harley Davidson service information portal. This is a very powerful tool. You can put your VIN number here and then get information about your bike. But if you uh, go to the homepage, you can register for a login and it doesn't cost anything and you don't have to be a mechanic to register. And this will unlock quite a bit more information than you would get with just your VIN number and no login. Once you have your login, <clears throat> you're going to use the independent operators button to log in. Once logged in, uh, you can now uh, favorite documents and you'll see quite a bit more information than you normally would. You also have the ability to filter on all different models of Harley Davidson's instead of just by VIN number. So if I pick uh, 1981 to current CVO custom and then the uh, CVO Rogue Line, I will now get specific information about this model. And on the left-hand side, you can see you have documents, owner's manual videos. There are a lot of these videos are, are uh, included with no, no subscription. Um, the software files, the uh, updates for your infotainment system, uh, and other information. And then you can purchase a service manual. And this will give you, of course, all the detail about working on your motorcycle. You can subscribe for very short periods of time or up to a year. So you're essentially renting the service manual for your bike. But I will say using this portal then gives you access to all the updates, all the service bulletins, and all the recall information. So especially for the 23 CVOs being so new, the first bikes with that 121 in, inch cubic inch engine, it's pretty useful to have the subscription over buying the paper manual for this new model. Let's take a look at the owner's manual. So if we look here, we have the 2023 owner's manual. And what's really nice is this is a search, searchable document, but you can scroll through and then they have the uh, tabs on the left hand side. So if we scroll down, we'll locate service intervals and records. And if we click on that, there's the service records and this lists all the services included at the different uh, service intervals. So it's essentially a thousand miles and then every 5,000 miles after. And they give you little check marks to show you what should be done. So we're gonna check all the electric stuff, make sure all your switches work, your brake lights come on, your turn signals work, all those good things. You're gonna check your tire pressure, which you should be doing every time you ride, and then your tread depth. At a thousand miles, I hope you haven't done too many burnouts and you still have a fair amount of tread left. The uh, CVOs have spoke wheels. So you can check the wheel spoke tightness and there's a procedure for that. You have to go around and essentially listen as you bang on each spoke to see if they sound tight or not. You're gonna check your fluid level, so your front brake, and your, you can also check your uh, clutch cable and then lubricate it. Uh, they also have you adjust the clutch cable here if needed. Uh, they're going to check the fluid uh, moisture content of your brake fluid. So this is something new. The technology has been around for a while now where you can check your uh, uh, moisture level in your brake fluid with a simple tool from Amazon. This will allow you to keep an eye on the moisture content of your fluid and whether you need to replace it or not. Harley still recommends that you replace it regardless every two years. So you'll check your hand controls, uh, your switch housing screws, make sure they're all torqued. Those can come loose, especially on a new bike. You do not mess with the steering head, steering head bearings at this point. Uh, the air cleaner, you also do not need to clean or replace at this point. So you will change your fluids at this point, all three, engine, primary, and transmission. I'll have you check the oil and brake, brake lines looking for any cuts, scrapes, or leaks fuel lines and fittings, your rear brake fluid level and its moisture content. Uh, you'll check your brake pads and discs. Really, you're looking for uneven wear at this point. You should not be below the wear limits at a thousand miles. <clears throat> you're gonna uh, 
You're gonna torque your uh, front axle and your rear axle. They'll have you lubricate the jiffy stand, lubricate all your controls. And so if you check the notes here, they recommend Harley Lube for that. They'll have you check the drive belt and the sprockets, but they'll also have you adjust the drive belt, which is a bit of a process. You'll check all your exhaust system. You're looking for those exhaust clamps to be loose. You'll generally find a rattle sound if uh, any of these are loose. The battery, you're gonna check those connections and clean those, that's an important one. Uh, those, those connections do come loose and will create a starting issue or an electrical issue for you. So these are good to check. You don't have to do anything with your spark plugs at this point. They recommend you replace those every two years. And then you'll check all the components of the bike and do a ride test. So that's what's involved with a thousand mile service. So you can take this obviously to your dealer and schedule this and have this done. You can also have this done by an independent mechanic. You don't have to use a Harley dealer that will not void your warranty. In the same aspect, you can do it yourself and not void your warranty, but you are taking your safety in your own hands. But you follow the document, get, purchase the service manual, follow the procedures closely. You can do this yourself. And in America, we are protected by the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, which federally protects our right to work on our own vehicles without voiding our warranty. So I intend to do my own service here. I've always done that. I, I highly believe in it. You learn a lot about your own motorcycle and it sure comes in handy when you're on a long road trip and you have an issue, you have some real familiarity with your own bike, but you are taking some risk. You are taking your own safety into your own hands, but I've always had great luck doing this by myself and over the years have gained many skills that I did not have before. So I'm gonna create several videos in this series covering the complete 1,000 mile service. I will put them in a playlist so you can look through them. I remind you, I'm just an enthusiast and my information I provide may not be 100% accurate, so use my videos at your own risk. But join me for the next several series of videos on going through the 1,000 mile service. Until next time, in the friction zone.